Hey, this is Rocket Brain Surgeon, and we're looking at stalling out. This is when the plane doesn't have enough airspeed to continue its course in the air, and it starts to fall. Stalling out is incredibly disadvantageous, because the plane that is stalling has no airspeed, so they can't move, they're just sitting there, and they frequently have yes. very little control over their Enemy plane. Damaged. Right now we're in the BF-110B, which is a perfect example because the BF-110B is the energy fighter. Now I have somebody on my tail, and I use mouse look to check behind me while I climb, checking his progress. And right there is he stalled out. When he stops pursuit, I know that he's just out of energy and out of airspeed. So I turn around, and diving on him is completely easy. It That's immediately exploded. Now. Having a plane Hit. chase you into the vertical and stall Enemy out damage. will be some of the easiest kills you can get. Next up, I'm with a flight mate. He and I, I'm in the BF-109, he is in the P-40. We're going against an F-4U in the vertical. This is going to be a horrible, horrible example of where I don't pay enough attention to my airspeed and I'm the one getting worked. So as we're approaching the enemy, you notice that I'm trying to set up the engagement the way I want. And I turn away from the enemy because I don't like the way it's engaging. He was higher altitude than I am, and I don't want to do that frontal yeah. engagement. So I pulled back a little bit, I got some more altitude, and when he went after my flight mate, I decided that was a good time to engage. Now the F4U is a great climber, and you can see him escaping into the vertical. He knows that he can't really win a dogfight with two planes on him, so he's climbing in spiral, and here I stall out, I completely didn't keep track of my airspeed, and I'm just hanging, I can't turn, I have no boost, and he's coming around, and he's going to get full guns on me. I should be dead here, uh, but he's... But I think he misjudged the angle on which I was falling. I got lucky. My flight mate, who ducked the head on so well before, wasn't so lucky this time around. Alright, so we saw examples of how good it was when people dove on lower energy opponents. When people dove on guys who stalled out. We saw how hard it was to attack a higher energy opponent. All this adds up to is you gotta have higher energy than your opponent. Hope you learned something. Happy hunting. Yeah.